What's up guys, it's Jeremy here from xdog360 and today I have a new custom ROM to show you it is called MyUI or MiUI, I don't really know what you call it but from looking at it, it's called MyUI so that's what I'm going to call it today I'm going to be running it on the Nexus S4G I know nobody has made a video on it on the 4G version of the Nexus so I thought that I might make one it took me a while to find a ROM that would actually work on it because um, a lot of ROMs haven't come out for the Nexus S4G. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the ROM today. I hope you guys like it. It is sort of a spin off of the iPhone, but I think it's different. It's not totally the same, but yeah, it's pretty simple. So, here's the lock screen here. Um, there's messaging or call. Or, of course, just the regular lock. You got the clock. And I have this nice wallpaper here. So, right now, we're just going to normal slide down. I put the MyUI clock widget in. You can get it from the Android Market. I have ROM Manager, Clock, Music, Torch, Market, Settings, Volume, and Gmail. Those are the apps I'm going to show you guys today. ROM Manager. Um, it's really easy if you like to root phones and stuff. I recommend it. You can flash a recovery there. If you don't know what that is, you can just Google it. And yeah, I'm running the free version right now, so obviously I don't have like all the cool stuff that comes with the paid version. Um, there's clock. The clock is, I think it's just regular from all the other clock apps. It's pretty simple. Uh, music. The, I really like the music app. Let's see if we can play a song here, and I'll show you guys what you can do. So here we go. We got our songs. Let's see. Let's play Avalanche. I like this song. So we'll go ahead and turn up the volume. And when you click on it, obviously, let's turn on the volume. But the lyrics come up. So it plays that while you're listening to it. So I thought that was pretty cool. And also, I think you just click on it, and it shows this stuff here. I think it's like, I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like beats in the song or something, but I think that's pretty cool. Not think, think. But yeah, if you click on it, lyrics, click back, you can get back to the songs. So there's that. We'll pause that. And then there's the torch, which is obviously the flashlight app. Turn on the flashlight. You got your flashlight there. And the Android market looks pretty much the same. Pretty simple. Battery life on this ROM. I found that you can turn on high res graphics and icon shadow. That obviously uses up a lot of battery. But I really like it. You got these transition effects here. Classic. Classic no overshoot. Crossfade. Fall down. Page. Cascading. Rotation. 3D cube. I personally like the 3D cube one. It looks pretty sweet. You got this like nice cube style. That's probably why they named it that. Um, you got these basic four dock bar things here. Obviously, I got like everyone in there. Um, a browser. It's pretty much the same as any other browser. It's just that you got this nice line loading bar up here. I'm using an iPhone keyboard. It's called the iTap keyboard or whatever you want to call it. It's in the Android market. You have to pay for it, unfortunately, but I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, there's the browser um, phone, like calling. That that's pretty cool. You can just like type around. Um, Gmail. I really like the Gmail. It's really simple, just like all the others. Volume. I downloaded that app. It might be a little hard to find, but. You can control your volume from there. Settings. The settings is just like the iPhone. So that's what you guys might like. I noticed that when you scroll through the settings, sometimes it's a little laggy. So yeah. Um, I am using the beta version because every time I clicked on the stable versions, it would say page not found. So yeah, right now MMS and 4G is not working for me. So that's not good, but I don't have 4G in San Diego either, so it really doesn't really make a difference. You have themes. Themes are really cool. I love the themes. Most of them are in Chinese, so you can't understand them. 
But yeah, you got boot animation, boot audio, lock screen style, and all the other ones you see there. It's pretty easy. Oh, I guess you can back up the theme. I might as well back up mine right now. I'll do that later. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Don't know what's up with that. It's a little weird. You guys see that? It's like says Moiter right there. Calendar. I found the calendar sort of weird. It's sort of hard to understand, but those weird lines. You got notes. You can put notes. Oh, MGMI is awesome. Ah, oh, Miller Food. Ah, uh, you got folders. You can get like folders and stuff. Games, maps, video. If you want to customize the folder, you just click the customization thing and you can rename it from there. Or, I guess you can just press home and it does this and what you can do is add a home screen or you can obviously just cancel it out like that. So And you can like choose which one you want to be your home screen. So obviously this is a highly customizable ROM. Notification bar. Toggles. Airplane, guard, reboot, power, rotation, Bluetooth, GPS, lock, Wi-Fi, data, silent, backlight. And then you can obviously control the brightness levels from this toggle here. No notifications for me right now. But, oh, I did not know you could do this. So yeah, I think you can just keep on adding them. I think you can just add as many as you want. But obviously when you scroll through... It might be, yeah, it's a little laggier. Well, it's not that laggy, I guess. But when you probably put stuff on them, it's probably going to be more laggier. So, yeah, that is the MyUI ROM on the Nexus S4G. I'll try to put a link in the description. But if the link doesn't work, then obviously I won't put it in there. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this review on the MyUI ROM on the Nexus S4G. Thank you guys for watching. Out.